right. So this is the part two. And this is going to be like one, two, three. Rastafari. Right? Um, this is going to be the lost sheep. The lost sheep, it says, seeking, colon, seeking the Lord. So we first dealt with um, the child text where he said a little child amongst them. He said a little child in the midst of them. As we have the example of Lij Tefari, which is set in Ionai midst as well, right? Lij Tefari, right? It's set in Ionai midst, right? And, and, and he warns us and cautions us, right? He says to us to be as a little child, right? Unless we be, he says, unless, except ye be converted. You know, it always bothers me when I hear one says, like, yeah, man, I've been harassed, I've been this way for this long. I'm like, so when you first became Rasta, you the same way that you were when you, wow. So you didn't grow, you didn't, you know what I mean? You didn't, you, you, you really have to check that out. You know then You really have to, remember what it says. It says that the word is that seed, right? And when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understand of it not, don't really understand really the, the real implication of, 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 of the word on oneself and their brother man, you know and therefore in the community, then the wicked one cometh along and snatch out of them that which was sown, snatch out that word. This is why we have this, um, I call it inertia, or so to speak, in Rastafari. This is why we have all these little, um, you know, I call it cock and bull issues. You know what I'm saying? All, all these little barbed wire acts going on. You know what I'm saying? Well, this pretense and other kind of stuff like that. You, fire bun that. You understand? Know and, 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 Let's go forward right here. So, so we dealt with the first part right there, right, um, which we might call, let's see, we, we might call that um, um, every Rastafari must, must first be a child, a lich. That's a principle. That's a principle, if you please. Now we're going to talk about the lost sheep section. So we ultimately are going to resolving disputes among brethren and sisterin, which will be in the next part of this, whether we do it here or we do it separately, just stay tuned for it. So the Lord's sheep, we're in Matthew chapter 18, and we're at verse 11. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 18, at verse 11, and it says, For the Son of Man, yes, so Lidge, is come to save that which was lost. Wow. The Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Wasn't we lost before Rastafari found I and I? You know what I'm saying? Therefore, you know what I'm saying? Isn't that our role and responsibility with those who are willing to be found? You know what I'm saying? It is. But you hear someone say that, you know, um, you know like it's a kind of selfish, it's like a worldly thing, you know what I'm saying, that has crept in, or rather that has not been removed. You know, saying through the word, the sound, and the power. It says, for the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost, the lost sheep, right, of the Beit Israel. And it says in verse 12, it says, how think ye? How do you think? Christ is saying, like, what are you thinking? You know what I'm saying? For real, brother, you know, brethren, what, what you thinking, man? Sis, sister, what you thinking? If a man have a hundred sheep and one of them, Right? One of them be gone astray. That means off of the path, out of the teaching of his majesty and his Christ. Right? Go, go astray. Doth he not leave the ninety and nine? In other words, if the ninety-nine are still on the path and one has gone astray, you understand? Know Does he not go and leave them, you understand, know saying, and go find that other one? And says, then go with into the mountains, into the mountains. Now, uh, biblically, the mountains are symbolic of kingdoms, right, different kingdoms, like we're, we're scattered all over, you know, all over the world, you know what I'm saying, particularly in the Western Hemisphere, right, go into the mountains and seeketh that which is going astray, mm-hmm, like I say about even Ethiopia and Shashimani, when you, when, when you think about our certain sense, and some of the elders that we spoke to, that we had an opportunity to sp speak to, they've actually testified to it, that when all that stuff was going on in the 70s, like after Gladstone Robinson, Paul Attorney, um, Land Grant Administrator, when the 70s came, many thought that, yo, it's, it's judgment time. And it, it, it is, a, every day is a judgment day. You know what I'm saying? But they thought, like, this is the end of the world kind of thing, right? And even some of them over the years from 
say, the 70s until the 90s and attempts at revitalization into the present time, court cases not being, you know, not being, um, not being dealt with, you know, not de dealing with that, that particular, we went before the Gentiles. Look at that. We went before the Gentiles to resolve disputes. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't check for this. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is our divine heritage right here, right? So verse, um, verse uh, 13, let's just keep going forward. It says, if and if so be that he find it. Because it might not be that he find it. You know, like there's a couple of brothers and even some sisters, even more so, who have gone astray. You know what I'm saying? Even one, we put a message out, have you seen, you know, I and I sister Khalifa, and we don't know what, you know, what's up, what's up with her, and there's others that we can name that have, you know, that in that sense have not been found. It says, Amen, I say to you, because Amen be Yeshua's name. He rejoiceth, right, if he finds that one, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine that which went not astray. Now, this reminds me of the prodigal son. Remember the prodigal son one? With a prodigal son, he, he did everything he was supposed to do. He was, you know, he was there. He was waiting for his inheritance. He was like the other son that said, give me my inheritance now and spent it with, 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 with whores and, and prostitutes and loose living and clubbing and doing a whole bunch of stuff, wheeling and dealing in the world and stuff like that. And then when he got on his hard times, he recognized that even my father's servants, are living better than this. I mean, he, obviously a Hebrew, an Israelite, a Judahite, had to start eating pork. He had started eating foul foods and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Slop. I mean, real slop, real garbage. No ital for sure. You know what I'm saying? And then he returned, right? And then the other brother, who was, who was for all intents and purposes, he was, he was, he was the, the, the stand-up guy, and nothing was taken away from him. But he got jealous you know what I'm saying? He got jealous of the other one. You see, that means, you remember the parable of the soul in Matthew chapter 13, and it talks about something right here that the Holy Spirit says to include in this message. And in chapter 13, after the first one, we dealt with the first message about the kingdom, if anyone hears the word. Then it says, but he, in verse uh, 20, that receiveth the seed, the seed, the word, into stony places. Remember, we're talking about that stone and this Christ that breaks down that wall of separation, right? Um, into stony places, the same as he which heareth the word. They hear this word. They hear about Rastafari. And what does it say? And a nun, A N O N, with joy receiveth it. So, what does a nun mean? A nun means immediately, right? A nun means at once. At once. Bandafka. Bang. What do Yahweh know? He, he like quickly, like you hear about Rastafari, Black King, Black God. Yes, I, you know, receive it with, with, with quick fast, with joy, right? And people say, well, there's nothing wrong with that. We're supposed to have joy, yes. But it says, yet, Yeshua says, yet hath he not what? Yet hath he not root in himself. Wow. He doesn't have, he don't know himself. Or she don't know herself. They don't have no root, right? No root in themselves, but dureth, but dureth, or endureth for a while. They tried for a while. Yes, I, they still know the Rastafari thing, the Rasta thing, right? But it says, for when what? Tribulation or persecution, right, ariseth because of the word, because of the word that they heard and immediately got happy about it, but didn't have root in themselves. It says, by and by, or little by little, kes by kes, right? He is offended. He or she is offended. Remember the word offense? What's the word offense? Mesonaka, right? Mesonaka means to stumble, right? By and by, little by little. And, and check this out. Answer that, boom, they stumble, they fall, bang, they slip, right? No. Little by little, little by little. You start seeing drip by drip by drip by drip. You know what I'm saying? They're offended. They, you know, no longer, you know, they're no longer answering your calls. You know what I'm saying? They're no longer, you understand, you know, want, want, they want to try together. No longer want to read Bible or study together, such and such and such. But when you know this word, you, you can pray for them. You don't, you don't want to feel no bitterness. You don't want to feel any of that, that old man shit. 
you know what I mean? You don't want to, you want to like, 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 excrete that. You understand? You trust in the Lord and you, and you pray for them. You understand? Know but you keep trotting. You keep moving forward. All right? So it says in verse 14, once again, Matthew chapter 18, verse 14 says, Even so, it is not the will of your father. It's not the will of your Abba. It's not the will of my Abba. Right? It's not Abba's will. What's not our, our Abba's will? Which is in heaven that one of these little ones, that one of the little ones, right, that one of the little ones should perish. It's not his will. You know what I'm saying? So little ones, you understand, be strong. You know what I'm saying? Little ones, if you're still reading your Bible, keeping the Shabbat, things are a little difficult, still hold that faith. Keep that peace of Yeshua. Keep that shalom. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you know is right, what he teaches you right, what you can trust and verify by his word and the true and living life. But the key thing about this particular point is the main mission or ministry is to save the lost. You understand? In the order of Yeshua, not in your way. Remember, the definition of, of iniquity, right? And iniquity means lawlessness. Lawlessness is rebellion. You understand? The word bamarinya is amita, right? Amita is, is, is doing what seems to be right or what's right in your own eyesight as though we have no king of kings and his Christ. You understand? As, as though the, the triune God, the one God, you understand, is not there, is not the one that has given us his instruction, the one who has not shown us his way so graciously in the person of his imperial majesty, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie I. Shalom, Rastafari.